Hello awesome people, it's been quite some time I have come up with a new tutorial and so to resume with a new tutorial I'll pick up my favorite topic that is animation. In this tutorial we will look at CGFN Transform APIs of Core Graphics. CGFN Transform is a very powerful feature which lets you manipulate a UI component in terms of position, rotation, size or a combination of either of them. CGFN Transform provides methods like translation, rotation angle, scaling, concatenation to perform transformation. Let's have a look at what basically are the transformation or and what, what different type of transformation are there. So let's say let's take this image and let's say this is your view. Okay, so now when you move your view from here to here, this means that it is a translation from one coordinate to another coordinate when uh, you, you are rotating this image let's say that this is a UI component and when you are rotating it this is called rotation angle so you can provide any type of a rotation angle and scaling means when you are you know scaling or you are skewing an image so this is this is in terms of scaling so CGFine provides you know funk methods to help you get along with that okay uh, today in this tutorial we'll look at the translation how the translation works and how it can help you create a good UI animation so for that I have already created a sample project it's a single view application nothing nothing much here so I have created a single view application and then I have just taken this image as well just to have a background so let's create the UI for that so first of all what I'll do is I'll add this image so that we have some background okay I'll align it to the edges to the edges okay so this adds an image let's set our image okay so this is just for view focus then let's add two text view text tables UI label. Okay. So I'll add this UI label. I, I set the text as master. Okay. I'll change the font size to bold and let's say font as 20. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll center horizontally. okay and what I'll do is I'll add a constant to top I'll add a constant to top view set constant top layout guide okay so let's see where it is okay that guide is minus 20 Perfect. Okay. So this is uh, since we, we are showing the any we will be showing the animation. So I've just put it outside our view. Same way I'll take another label. Let's say shot. Again I'll change the explain all those things let me just quickly do this I'll center it and horizontally and what I'll do is I'll make it outside on the bottom view so my key, my key yeah my shirt that bottom will be zero okay so let's Okay, so that will be a top. Okay, so let's see, it is upside. Okay. Last thing, what I'll do is I'll create a uh, button to perform the animation. Okay, so that we can look at it how it goes. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll name this as tap, change it to. Heavy so that it looks 
visible on the screen change the tint color to black okay and then align it horizontally in controller and with respect to view set the button the out guide for this as well set top should be 20 points okay so that button is visible okay so we have laid out our ui view let's quickly perform the set the uh, your ib outlets so this is my main label but this is my the sub label mm -hmm. and then this is my method so i will say action okay tap me let's say tap me by button connect okay so this we, we have connected do all our connections also let's so let's jump into the main code behind now okay so let's see how transition work in this case so i'll and with animation so we'll be using our default ui animate with duration and animation to perform this okay so i will say let's duration is this and on animation hold on a sec i'll be using the completion block as well i think i'll miss something animate yeah, completion block time interval let's say this for completion i will say finished and okay so this completes our part so let's see how the transformation tra translation will work so we will say so each ui component which is a subclass of ui you have a transformation component or property so you say self dot main level to transformation is equal to cg affine transformation and see what how trans what transformation do you require so here what we we are gonna do is uh, we are we will be trying to bring the labels in the center so so that uh, master and chef are are top and what are uh, uh, master is above and then below it we have chef okay so for that we don't need any translation in x so x won't change so we will say x is zero but for y what i need to do is like both both should be equidistance from center okay so what i will say is self dot view so let, let's bring them to center okay self dot view dot center dot y and minus 10 okay. why minus 10 is because i need some spacing between both the labels so this is slightly above the center and my sub label would be zero and since for Since for uh, sub label it is coming from the bottom the translation y transform would be same but it will be negative okay then plus okay so this will give a trans translation where we, we are not changing x but we are changing the y we are bringing both the labels to the center and slightly above and below each other so let's let's run the program and see how it goes how the animation works So here is a tab button. I tap it. 
so there is some something missing currently hold on a sec first those labels I need to change the color of the labels this should be white this should also be white okay and I think I need to increase the font size of both of them Okay, so that it's perfectly visible. button and see what is missing when I click the tab both are overlapping each other so there is basically some amount of I think this should be how it goes in negative right so you can see how each so if we want to increase like more distance i can say minus 20 here okay, so I just bracket mistake okay now what if we want to reset the transformation let's say we want to move them back to their original position then what we get there is a property called as cg affine identity which resets the transformation affine dot identity so if i say cg affine dot identity and run it then after our animation is finished and it will move back to its original position we will reset the transformation see it is again moved back to it so if you tap again it will come back from the same position okay let's do some more uh, animation to uh, what we say to give a good ui okay so let me again now on incomplete uh, once the animation is completed let's transform again the labels to move in the x direction okay so what i will do is when uh, for x transition what i will say is move the uh, main label in the left direction and move the y label in this oh, move the sub label in the right direction so what i have to translate the x so what I can do is since we, we are in the center of the uh, you in, in the view what I can say is self dot view dot center dot x uh, send, uh, sorry view self dot view dot frame dot width so what I am saying is uh, translate the x position equal to width in the negative in the left direction and simply what I will do is translate the expression for sub label or translate x to the amount be equal to the width in the right direction so negative is it, it will uh, transform in the uh, it will decrease the exposition or it will move in the left direction and for uh, positive it, it is moving in the right direction so let's click on play button again I'll just remove this identity so that or let it be identity so that whenever we click on the tab button it starts from the same position okay, let's play 
there is one catch here uh, we will see when we click on the tab button when I click on the tab button you see this comes and then it moves in the correct direction but if if you see what I have done is for a Y position I have kept the translation as same but I don't want any translation for the Y position so if I say it should be I ideally it should be 0 so when I say 0 here let's see what happens when I click tap here see how the animation is going on so clearly uh, uh, when, when we are tra transforming it it takes the uh, previous uh, it has preserved the previous transformation so what we uh, so uh, the previous transformation is this so we we, we should be uh, we, we don't want if we, we say 0 then it, it is translating from the current position to the 0 position it is happening like this because we, we have done a translation so it, it is not the position uh, we are referring here so it should be same as the last translation what we did so this is a one one more uh, cool thing which I want to show is that so this is how the animation was now if I remove this completion block uh, you know resetting to the uh, original position then see the animation how cool is it let's tap it on it okay. when I click on tab button again see how for the uh, labels are jumping in and jumping out uh, this is just I found it uh, while playing with the uh, transformations so this is it uh, on the uh, translation part of CGF in transform CGF in transform thanks for hoping hope you like it